What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from WireFindEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, D.C. I am super excited about today's conversation. We're doing so much better than yesterday. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your very first time checking us out, if this is on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, make sure you're subscribing to our pages. We're here to help you turn your passion to profit so that you can make money online. As I mentioned before, I'm really excited about the conversation we're going to have today because I'm excited about how things have been going today. Today is so much better than yesterday. Yesterday I was really struggling with finding the motivation to get the things done necessary. I ran into the uh, for a proverbial wall, if you will, where I, I just really felt like the effort wasn't connecting. I know that shooting these videos ahead of time doesn't necessarily help me get a real-time message across, meaning I don't shoot the videos and then put them right up there to see you guys' feedback. I more or less build upon my story because this, this, these videos are for me, but at the same time, I feel that they're gonna be a benefit for you in the future. So I'm really excited about how I go about accomplishing that. I'm not really looking for people to just to follow me, to say, oh, this guy thinks he knows what he's talking about. More or less, I just wanna get on the camera, talk about the things that are going on a day-to-day -day basis. Once success is there and you guys naturally wanna follow the brand, you may, be fi you may find yourself interested in knowing how did this happen. Is it true? Can I do it for myself? And I want you to know that the answer is yes. And I'm going to show you that the cha same challenges that I went through in order to accomplish the goals that were set out is going to be the, some of the same challenges you're going to go through, but you're going to know that you can overcome it. That's what these videos are about. And that's what I'm realizing. You know, these videos are ne not necessarily a guru sitting in front of you telling you what you should do. No, it's a person telling you about their day to day struggles, their day to day challenges, some of the disciplines they had to put in place, some of the lessons learned that they figured out what is and what is not working so that you don't have to waste your time doing this, doing the stuff that isn't working rather, and you can focus on the things that does actually work it's to the benefit of your business. Here in the last few days, I've really been focusing in on trying to automate or more or less schedule some of the automated tasks that we have to do. Things like posting to our blog on a daily basis. Things like posting these videos to YouTube on a daily basis. Things like posting to offset sites like Medium, for an example, for that guest post, that authority approval from an outside uh, blog. Things like that. Things that you know are gonna be needed on a day-to-day -day basis. Look, if you guys know that you know, you're gonna have to do these things, you know you wanna do these things, you know that what they're gonna do for the benefit of your blog long-term, then go ahead and schedule these things. Don't necessarily feel like every single day you have to get on your phone and post to Instagram, think about what you're gonna post, write the message, etc. If you know you're gonna be posting to Instagram on a daily basis, by all means, Take some time out of your day, an hour or so out of your week to just focus in on just that activity. We talked about going deep in some of our earlier videos in which we dedicate one hour of focused energy and time to accomplish a task or goal. And that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about scheduling the things ahead of time. Did you know that Facebook allows you to schedule posts ahead of time? Meaning you can go up there and start to share different messages, the, the different status posts, things from your blog, etc. different things that you wish to advertise on your Facebook, you can actually go on there now and schedule them out for the entire week. Imagine spending an hour today to focus in on what your message will be for the entire week, and then you don't have to spend multiple minutes, multiple hours throughout the day putting together content just for one social platform if you can go ahead and set aside the time to schedule out for the entire week. So what is that gonna give you? That's gonna give you another day to focus in on something else, a new activity, some new training, a new strategy, something that you've learned, something that you wanna try out. It's gonna give you that new free time in order to accomplish that while also making sure that you have accomplished your initial task, the discipline, the thing, the objective that you know that, you're that you need to do. So what did I do in the last 24 hours? I went in and I scheduled a week's worth of medium posts, or 
uh, domain authority uh, guest posting, basically sharing our blogs from wifientrepreneur.com, posting them over there on Medium so I can get that extra love from Google that says, hey, Medium says this guy is pretty good. Medium says he's posting daily content. I like him too. I'm gonna go ahead and start sending him more of that organic search traffic that I'm getting through Google th through my search engine because I see that Medium also verifies him and Medium also is already doing fantastic when it comes to SEO here in Google. What else did I do? I went ahead and scheduled a week's, week's worth of Instagram posts. Why? Because Instagram is where the people are. That's where the eyes are. You're on Instagram, I know you are. Well, guess what? Me having to go in there and, and post four times a day, having to take time out of my day to put together descriptions and, and finding the images that are relevant to you takes a lot of time. And it takes a lot of time, especially if you're spacing it out in the middle of all the other things that you may be doing. So what did I do? I went ahead and scheduled out a week's worth of content that I believe that you guys are gonna like. I'm excited about it. I hope that you're gonna be excited about it when you see it. But I did it, why? So that I can be there consistently with content for you. And that's why I did it, you know? I'm not trying to take any shortcuts. I'm trying to make sure that I'm consistently there for you. That's what I'm talking about. What else did I do? Well, one other thing that I've gotten started on, I have not finished it yet, but I wanted to make sure that I schedule out a week's worth of blog posts directly to wifeforentrepreneur.com. That's a little bit more challenging. You're gonna find it out as you go about writing your blogs, especially if you're doing a 10X like I am, where you're trying to produce content on a daily basis at often. For the most part on a daily basis i'm trying to push out even more than that some days but really i'm trying to get into a a good feel of where i can do content at least on a daily basis minimum daily basis then as we get a good amount of content scheduled out for a daily basis we may try to take it up a notch where now we have two posts a day but we'll see how it goes really about time effort and energy making sure that i have enough time for the family making sure i have enough time to expand the brand and the other ad avenues of marketing however making the time scheduling other things are going to free up additional time in the future to grow and do more things as we mentioned before so that's what's been going on with me again yesterday i was bummed out i was tired i was like man i got this whole list of things to do today how am i going to accomplish it and i still feel like there's so much more to do well today what i did was i woke up with a new mindset a new attitude i said look what are the most important things for the day then i asked myself are these things going to be important again tomorrow then I asked myself, are these things going to be important again in three days? And when I found out the answer was yes, I asked myself, could I automate some of this stuff? Make it a little bit easier since I know I'm going to have to do it. Can I make it a little bit easier? And he's right. I could. And I said, he's right. I, I was in, my, in the back of my mind, I was thinking about how Andrew Yang, one of the, the new Democratic candidates, was talking about how automation was taking over. And I believe that. Automation is taking over. I'm looking for every way i can to automate my message i want it to be my message i want to be of me from me my passion turned into my profits but i want it to be automated so therefore i'm looking for any way possible to automate my message and that's what i'm looking to help you do as well create your message then automate your message all right so i'm gonna leave it there hopefully the excitement uh, showing through is a little bit different than yesterday because I'm excited. I'm just really excited. I know this thing is meant for me. I know I'm supposed to be doing this. I know I'm supposed to be talking to camera. That's why I'm talking in front of camera. So here I am. I'm going to leave it there. Until we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.